Hello guys, welcome back to Polaris Sector. Um, let's just start the clock um, going so that my scouts can continue to uh, explore the galaxy for us. Um, so yeah, we've got sort of um, got good opportunities in that uh, we found some Earth-like planets um, to colonize. Um, unfortunately, they're towards the center of the galaxy, and so we've kind of got this kind of long empire being created. Uh, we've discovered a pirate fleet. Okay, so in my last episode, um, I was talking about how I really needed to militarize pretty soon, um, and I pushed my luck. So what we're going to need to do now is switch from building this colonizer to building a military fleet, and the first step in that process is to design a carrier. Now I don't like the stock design because um, it's only got one hanger, so I'm going to edit that. Um, it's also got a number of lasers on the top. We may may reinstate those lasers. Uh, in our last game, we really suffered because of the lack of um, anti-fighter support. So let's put in two hangers, and uh, we can at this point uh, power everything, I believe. But our range is only 3,000, which is pretty pretty low. Um, we can't get fuel tanks into those smaller areas and um, this is the problem we had last time as well. Also this is a um, it's gonna be a fairly slow ship. Let's see, see then if we can get some better engines and uh, more fuel and um, what if we got rid of that? Put the fuel tanks here and gave us more power. Still, still short of power. Um, maybe the stock. What if we get rid of these lasers? No, they don't really consume much power at all. Get rid of the engine. Okay, so maybe the stock solution was the best where um, we uh, basically have a slower ship. It's not it's not ridiculously slow. And then perhaps what we do is we see if we can um, get as many of these. Well, there's not going to be that many. Hmm. We put it in the top, it'll give us a 360. Whereas if we put it in the bottom here, it'll only give us, I think it's a 180 arc. Um, it's very similar to the design that we produced in our first game, but um, in fact, it might be identical. I'm struggling to see how we can improve on it. Ultimately, it's the, the carrying capacity of those fighters I'm really after. Um, 4,000 range is it's probably maybe what we should do is drop that down to 3,000 um, but you may get some stars which are 3,000 distance I'll tell you what we'll do we'll try and um, we'll, we'll go for it nonetheless we'll increase the power we'll keep 3,000 range and then see if we can invest some of that power then into increased defensive batteries. Um, just because the armor, even with tungsten, seemed to be um, seemed to be paper thin in our last game. Um, so yeah, that's quite a few. There's quite a few lasers on it now, um, certainly better than in our last um, game, so uh, still I won't be wanting to to rely on those defences too much and we'll want the fighters to do most of the screening. Um, what have we got as a strike corvette then? So these are ion guns in the top and more ion guns. Um, so the ion guns seem to be able to shoot at um, both the fighters, though not very effectively, um, and capital ships. It's very slow, though. It's very slow. It's only too quite easy for ships to out 
outrageous. Um, let us go with building these carriers. Um, we don't know how many pirate ships are there. I'm going to go with three carriers. Which is probably going to take quite a while to build, unfortunately. Um, carriers, how many? So build me three. Uh, pull the colonizer back. Yeah, 18 years. Okay, well, we're just, we're just stuck with that. And, um... Let's uh, let's roll the time forward. Where's this scout going? Actually, it's not gonna. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and as I as I think about our home world and what happened in the last game, actually, what I'm going to do is look at the fighter. So their stock fighter has got these ion no ion guns and plasma missiles. Um, I'm going to edit that. Let's get rid of these for the moment. And um, so the plasma missiles are good at um, taking down small ships. These um, lasers are also not too bad. And the energy weapons. So their range is of a thousand, range of four hundred, range of seven hundred. So what I'm thinking, the last time I think I put a load of lasers on it. So what we'll do is we'll put a plasma missile in the nose just to give it some good anti-fighter capabilities and then we'll go with ion guns in the wing mounts um, now then can we can we make these faster so it's currently going to be able to go at 25 uh, this could get it up to 33 but the power balance um, so let's stick a another reactor in there 29 remove that reactor so the reactors can sit in the wings probably not particularly safe and then these scanners um, to detect other small ships so that's that's good um, missile load one so can it only fire one missile uh, yeah by the look of it and um, we haven't got any additional storage yet oh, I do want to make sure that I win the, the at least win the fighter fights this time around. Um, so look, let's try that out. And um, what I need to do is actually queue up building those fighters. So let's go with sixty fighters. And let us put them at the front of the queue so that our home world is getting some defense and um, the pirates can't come like they did in my last game and just sit above the planet and stop all, all production. Because um, um, then they can destroy the orbital shipyards and uh, then you really end up um, bottlenecked in terms of uh, what you can produce. So let's... Um, Split that out, get this scout out exploring. Um, I need to go pick up this at some point, but actually what I really want to do is get out here and explore around those earth likes to see how see how exposed they are. Uh, so our scout has come back here. It can't move over to the east, but I'm okay with that because I still wanted to explore ideally over to the west here a bit more. Uh, colonizer is still on its way to this uh, this other earth like in the middle um, okay yeah we're consuming lots of resources now building our fighters um, how many have we got only nine so uh, we're very very vulnerable at our home world and um, yeah I may have made a mistake by not prioritizing defense uh, okay so we've we've encountered um, who have we encountered? An unknown fleet. Well, they're coming to our world. Um, they are bird people. Um, so we're, we're speaking to them, saying they're approaching our space, and they are the Gavaken. Gavaken bird people. Um, so they've got two planets colonized, uh, less, than, less than us, obviously. Um, so we will just say hello and accept our humble gifts. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, fine. Well, we don't know where they are yet. Um, 
except that maybe they came from the east over here. Subatomic particles, um, so this is a uh, theoretical science, uh, so it doesn't really have a large impact on us right now, but unlocks applied sciences. And, oh, I've, I've, I've made an error here. There are pirates here, and um, uh, I've just... Uh, okay, well, at least we'll we'll see what's here, though our, our scout may now be destroyed, which would be pretty irritating. Oh, and the bloody pirates are now coming to besiege our uh, our homeworld, and I'm not going to be able to hold them off with 28 fighters. Uh, oh. Bugger. 80 fighters. Yeah, there's a Gaia world there, and we should be able to see off 80 fighters uh, in the not-too-distant future. Um, but... Um, we may not get to the not too distant future at this rate. So, scout, retreat, let's press play. Um, so, um, yeah, this is just a question of when the fighters arrive um, and whether we end up flying through them. Oh, 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 oh. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, okay, so we got away, luckily. So these are armed with ion guns and plasma missiles, so they're going to be quite similar to our own uh, fighters. Uh, so at least we'll have parity there. Um, okay, so at least we've managed to save that scout. Uh, it's not really the battle I was worried about. The battle I'm worried about is this one. 30 fighters against... Oh gosh, 55 enemy fighters, um, but it's the three corvettes that are going to uh, really be a disaster for us. I mean, we can obviously um, decide where we're going to to be because we're on the defence, but uh, really that is not going to help us. Um, And uh, I suspect I'm now going to be bottlenecked like I was in my last game, where the um, the enemy will just kind of hang around above my planet, probably destroy the um, the space station, and then um, we'll um, maybe then bugger off at some point, um, and then I'll have to rebuild, hopefully before they can come back. Uh, So you can see our missiles being used, and uh, they are effective against the enemy fighters, but uh, we've just been overwhelmed uh, with numbers. So how did we do? So they deployed uh, 55 and um, destroyed 30, all 30 of ours. So we destroyed 37. So our fighters did slightly better, but just had no, no chance really. Um, so, okay, we can't do anything with our home world. Uh, we have to hope that our... Um, okay, so our scout got back. Let's get him back for, for repairs. And let's colonise this world. Um, production. Minus three. Uh, 26 potential production. I'm going to have to turn this one into an industrialization world. Even though it's not ideal, um, we, we need some production um, just in case uh, these guys don't, don't move off in time. Um, and uh, this will now be stalled. Um, I'm wondering whether what we should do is just prepare for the future. How many farms? Six farms. Mm. I'm just wondering whether we should perhaps sacrifice some of our farms as our population is not going to go up dramatically whilst this um, this happens and um, start converting this into a um, into a more of an industrialized world. Um, our production is pretty poor actually on it. Mm, okay, we'll, we'll leave that for now. I 
I was um, I was pretty chuffed that we had more more planets than the bird people, and um, they say pride goeth before the fall, and um, that uh, that looks like that's what's happened again. Uh, okay, so can this guy even explore anyway? Yeah, he can. At least they haven't destroyed this um, this spaceship part, and uh, so we got our scout there. Um, these worlds are at least um, developing. And let's continue our exploration. Uh, I was expecting this world, uh, well not this world as such, but at least this one to kind of link up. Um, so I'm quite happy. So it's sort of in not a completely sort of kind of a cul-de-sac, but it's not as exposed to central space as I as I thought, which is maybe why we were able to um, to secure them. So let's see what else is out there. Uh, the calf system, nothing too exciting, um, but uh, this this the HM. I'm probably quite glad that uh, there's nothing too exciting. We've got enough excitement with these bloody pirates um, blockading our home world. Um, and really, I would want to be out there with uh, a nice big fleet securing this Gaia world, and that would really, that would really sort of open the game up for me. Um, unknown fleet. Okay, so I think we're about to discover another race. Um. Oh well, these are adorable, aren't they? How how threatening could these guys be? Who are these? Uh, Vagal. We'll, we'll call them the Koala people. Um, I was watching a video by uh, Das Tactic, and I think he called them the Koalas. And <laughs> that's what we'll, we'll stick with. That. Hello. Please don't eat us. Um. Oh, right, so another ocean world and a space anomaly, so let's... Uh, plutonium, good. Uh, though we've got plenty of plutonium in this game, we just can't bloody well build anything with it. Um, let's pull back. Um. Oh, they have moved off, right, so that's... Uh, oh, so we have been... We have been building fighters, we just haven't been able to launch them from the planet. So actually what I need to do to build another 30 uh, before we get into the carriers. So I build another 30 and um, I'm really wondering whether whether 60 is going to be enough. Um, but it's a start. And uh, at least we have the hope now. Uh, yeah, I mean it's annoying that they'll be above um, min car, but um, nowhere near as bad as them um, interdicting a uh, production world. And they, in fact, I think they've moved off. No, they're still above min car. Uh, okay, so nothing too exciting there. Okay, um, another anomaly and some gravitonium. That's good. Um, okay, so we've run out of fuel. Um, and uh, let's get back for that fuel. Where's this guy going? This is a scout and he's coming back to refuel. Fine, yeah. Uh, so. 41 fighters, still absolutely not enough, but maybe maybe enough to make a, a better showing of it. And we're annoying these guys because we're um, we're in their territory. I am I am sorry, you cuddly little bastards. Um, we're <laughs> shaking in our shaking in our space boots. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna cuddle us to death? Um, I say that now. They're, they're probably absolutely ferocious. Um, so let's. I, I won't. I won't infringe their territory. We'll go explore elsewhere. Um, 
in case they give us uh, syphilis or something like that. And uh, okay, so I think that exploration is done for this side. And unfortunately, I can't send him up north because the bloody pirates are there. Um, but let's let's leave him there as we could get our colonizer out over this side now. Um, might be a silly move, but I do want to. I just think I'm going to need to build up my um, my attacking force quite a lot more. So getting the colonizer will at least allow us to um, to make some headway um, whilst that's ongoing. I'm just just addicted, just addicted to getting more and more planets. I am I'm like a virus. I am like the Borg. Not that the Borg it was a virus, but um, well, I, I don't really know to be honest. With you. I'm uh, far more of a Star Wars guy than a than a Star Trek uh, fan, and um, yeah, there's nothing really wrong with with Star Trek as such. It's just um, yeah, more more of a Star Wars guy. Um, okay, so and um, there's a brilliant, uh, well, there's several brilliant mods now for Star Wars Empire at War, which is a great little. Um, RTS mix of sort of um, grand strategy as well, so I think I'll want to be doing some of those less plays. Um, okay, so all right, so they're right by there. All right, so we've got a very thin um, supply route potentially to our empire, so I'm going to want to be securing those domes again, um, atmospheric dome. So yeah, I'm gonna, I am going to actually set that as a priority just because I don't want to be cut off from my own planets, and we can't. Um, we can't colonize these worlds right now without those domes, so I will prioritize them. Uh, I will explore out a bit more at the risk of annoying the bird people. Uh, we can now get the scout that I had over here. Um, yeah, let's do that, actually, because the pirates are um, have moved on again. Oh, and we've discovered a space anomaly and it's given us plutonium the uh, the alien species don't well I don't know they sometimes they just seem to leave anomalies like that and I don't know whether it's because the anomalies are sort of unique to the player or to the players you know only they can see their anomalies only I can see mine I don't know uh, a gravity anomaly and uh, let's um, Okay, so we found another one of these um, spaceship parts. Um, let's uh, let's secure it and uh, load it into our hull and um, bring it back to Minkar. I think let's um, let's secure it. Um, I'll have then. Uh, ah, two, two of six. So still, still, still a long way. Uh, two of four would be uh, would be pretty significant. And uh, oh, have we? Yeah, so we've built the colonizer, but it hasn't told me because um, I've got this queue. Let me just have a quick look. Um, so in terms of auto pausing. Um, So it pauses when um, so uh, ignore pause. Uh, so it pauses uh, when building construction complete, but that is the building queue. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Let's get out of that because that's pretty boring. I'll just struggle onwards valiantly. It's building our carriers. I haven't lost time on the production. I've just lost a bit of time in getting my colonizer out. And um, let's go there. And uh, yeah, it's fine. We don't need to come back. This is a this is a one-way trip. Like like, like like most of my <laughs> like most of my missions have been uh, intentionally or not one-way trips. And. Uh, so that colonizer at least is going to allow us to make some progress over uh, over this side. Maybe sort of secure these um, these stars for us. And um, 
that scout is going out there. This one is bringing the spaceship part back for us. Um, yeah, just very concerned about how isolated these planets are. But then again, would I have um, would I have preferred my enemies to grab them? Well, no. So I'm glad I'm glad I've got them. We just need to be quite conscious about uh, the need to um, invest in keeping them. So let's go get that other part. And um, where's our colonizer? All right, so, so let's speed things up a bit as it's taken a while. Okay, all right, so colonizable world. And it is an Earth like, interesting. Um, surprised it hasn't been taken. Is it any good for anything? Is the question. So it's got resources 19 organics, that's nice. Uh, production bonus of 5, and it can hold 26 production facilities. I want I want this planet and I want it uh, I want it churning out um, so um, yeah we've got one carrier built um, pirates aren't really causing me too much hassle sat above an agricultural world so um, get me a new colonizer please uh, Probably people very frustrated watching this as I yet again prioritize uh, expansion over protection. But um, hey, I'm sticking, sticking with the plan. Um, if at first you, oh, ooh. so I've said that the pirates aren't an issue, and then they've immediately proven to me that they are an issue because I can get back to the world. That the pirates are above, but I can't get back to this other world, which is which is a bit annoying because it looks like you should be able to. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the colony ship, take this world. It can then provide my scout with kind of a jumping off point. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do, even though I'm going to run out of fuel, I will journey on just so I can get back to this planet. I'll be happy with. And um, automation has been researched, um, so that will hopefully uh, unlock some more useful practical technologies for us. And uh, oh, another another Earth-like. Oh, guys, great food, great food. Uh, at this point, my eyes just go just go wide. And uh, all I can see is planets to, to colonize. Um, let's let's go on. Um, so that is uh, nothing there. Um, uh, can I get back? So that would take me three thousand five hundred. I've got eleven thousand. Yeah, let's let's press on. Our fleet has reached. So yeah, I want to. Um, Merge these fleets, pull that. Uh, so sorry, I haven't actually loaded. So sometimes this game is a bit clunky in terms of its interface, but um, you know that, that's all right. It's not it's not too bad. So our colonizer is going there. I'm wondering whether actually it should go out to this oceanic world. What's this one like? Very awful with organics, science and production. Production's okay in terms of plus ten. But there's only eight spaces for it. And this one, what was this? This was, uh, gosh, very good, very good on the organics front, and um, yeah, poor science. Uh, actually, so I'm, what I'm thinking, I think actually thinking I'm going to go out to this furthest one and just maybe that will help us secure the inner one. Um, okay, I was kind of hoping we might this might be sort of. Um, you know, bottlenecked down here, but that doesn't seem to be the case right now. How much fuel? 9,000, and I need uh, 5... Th okay, so, yeah, we can just do just do one more. And it is, it is a bit of a bottleneck, so maybe that's why these worlds are still still available. That would be great. Um, oh, has advanced our knowledge of physics. Great, so let's pull back now uh, to here. And is my colonizer being built? Yes, come on. Faster, faster, faster. 
And so our colonizer has got down here, so we can colonize this world, and we'll go for uh, we, we'll go for more more agriculture. Learn from the lessons of the past. Okay, so our scout's now stuck there, um, but I will send the colonizer out to grab that planet in one year, one year's time. Um, great, so he's now arrived, and we can uh, merge that with this one. So we've got two of those. Uh, now then, this scout, I think I'm going to send down here just so that we thoroughly explore this area of space. Why? Oh, I see. So they've both. Well, that wasn't very clever, was it? Uh, okay, let's go down. Yeah, and it's over half an hour now, so I'm going to end the video here, and we'll pick this up uh, straight away in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.